So we're going to cover it up now. They need to steam up. We need to you know, increase the heat a little bit, keep the heat in the pan so that the clams open up. And as the clams open up, the juices uh, from the, you know, that are in the clams, they're going to open up. They're going to help to create some of that broth. And then we'll finish it off as we go. We'll move this a little bit aside. We're going to prepare our, uh, typically we're not going to, we, you can serve it in this pan, but I'm using a big pan to bake it in, to cook it in, and we're going to put it into a nice serving dish. So you want to get yourself a, again, this is a nice Portuguese crock pot, and uh, we'll use that to, to throw it in there, and uh, it'll look fantastic. Great. Let's see how these are. It doesn't take too long. Again, you can see they're opening up a little bit. But the ones that aren't opening up, just kind of move them down to the bottom so they can get some heat. And when they open up, they'll be just like that. The juices are starting to go right into the clams there. Picks up the, the clams will have nice flavor from the pork and the potatoes. Throw a little bit of parsley in there. What you want to do now is pick up the heat. Get it good and hot, because as they're steaming now, they're going to get good and hot. When they reach a consistency where the clams are all opened up, we, we add a little bit more white wine to it. And that just helps to you know, pick up the sauce a little bit, and we'll have a, a nice, uh, uh, it kind of deglazes the bottom of the pan. And uh, then you can get your bread and dip it in there, and it makes an excellent dipping sauce. Let's see how we're doing. Yeah, they're opening up nice. It's just going to take just a few more minutes. Excellent. Now's the time to throw a little bit of wine in it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Now, as they're cooking up a little bit, we're going to add a little bit of uh, uh, white wine to it that uh, helps pick up the sauce a little bit, deglazes the pan a little bit, gives it a little bit more flavor. Again, some of the white wine, and just put it in there. And I can see the clams are liking it because they're opening up now. That's it. And we're done. So we're going to take it and get it ready for serving. So see, it doesn't take that long. The, the, the longest is really the prep time, getting your pork marinated, having it ready in advance. If you don't have that much time to put, you, you can throw it right in there and, and, and get, you cook it up right in the pan also. So let's take that out. Look at that. Get some of the sauce in there. Get some nice sauce. Oh, look at that. Pick through it. If you had any broken shells, take them out. Move around. Get your clams uh, looking straight up. Sometimes some of the clams won't open up that quickly, so you can take them out. And just make sure you got the good ones in there. Presentation. Of course, you always have to. Have a little bit of bread with it, some Portuguese bread, some home-cooked bread, some Italian bread, some French baguettes, whatever your preference. Serve it along with the uh, pound pork a la Jana. And what a fantastic meal that is. You can make it just for yourself. You can make it a big pot for a group of people. And next thing you know, you have a party. So try this at home. You'll love it. It tastes great. Take a little bit of bread. Dip it down in the sauce. Everybody loves that. Gotta try this. Fantastic. This is what it's all about. This is cooking with Dad.